What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another NECA Toys action figure review on the Aliens Genocide Red Queen Mother Deluxe action figure. If you're trying to pick up one of these, you can get them now at Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And thanks so much to NECA Toys for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from them, check the links below. And I did delete my packaging segment, so we have the open figure right over here. But if you want to see images of the figure in package, you can see that right over here along with the read up on the back of the packaging if you want to read it pause it now but anyway going back to this figure over here it's mostly a repaint of the alien queen that we had seen earlier we do get some new sculpted parts and there are some slight changes with the articulation but just looking at this paint job just all on its own it is magnificent there is some assembly required you do have to put these spikies in right here and I actually put these in opposite to how I did it with the queen alien so I just wanted to do something a little bit different you know what I mean they're very similar figures but the red on this is just spectacular as far as accessories go uh, we do get the one stand right over here and then you can switch that out with a shorter rod so you can see the size difference right there you have those display options and we also get the two different mouthpieces so you get the little short one right there and then you get the longer one both of these are painted and sculpted very nicely again the same sculpt as the first version that we had gotten but they do rest inside the mouth better than they did before I think so you have this L shape coming right through here so you can see that's like an L shape and then you have that L shaped slot on the inside of the mouth and I don't know what they did to change this but it does stay in there better than it did before let's see if I can hold on to that and yeah I can get the mouth to open up and down and it's not falling out on me or anything so I'm very happy that they fixed that QC issue I had a hard time getting the mouth to stay on the first alien queen I'm getting a closer look at the newly sculpted parts right here on the lower jaw this looks really good like these are kind of like dingly tendrils. I think they did a good job of painting all the little creases on those. Looks really nice. Then the top of the head is brand new over here. You get this very vibrant red and you can see the pinks mixed in right there. And then getting a good look at the top of this figure. This just looks really, really cool up here. I just love the way the paint came out on this. All that black paint right there and the sculpted lines. Really looks good. Dang, it looks like muscles almost. Like the whole figure almost looks like a giant muscle. Here's looking at the spine of the figure. You can see some more sculpted detail right in here. Looking at the arms looks really good. All these little tube pieces. Like doing like a tour. And the hands are the same sculpt, but again, painted very nicely. Here's looking at the legs. And looking really close to that little piece right here in the leg, you get a lot of variation in color right there. Yeah, man. They did add an extra hinge right over here. Well, it was kind of there on the first one, but this hinge goes up a lot farther, and that does help a bit with posing and standing. So I really like that a lot. We get some nice red paint. I mean, just this red just looks so cool on this massive piece. And you're looking right here on the underbelly. That looks pretty cool. And looking at the vertebrae right over there. It looks really awesome. Then we get this nice bendy tail right over here. Just looks fantastic with the red paint. There's a closer look at the very end of the tail. Just looking at this tail through and through. Just looks really cool. The back of the figure looks really nice. Just well done all the way, man. I really, really like this a lot. And I didn't know anything about this existing until the figure came out. Which is cool, because this is from a comic book. You know, this Red Queen is the leader of the Alien Rebellion, which I thought was a very cool concept. And originally painted red, or colored red, just so you could tell the difference, but then they included that into the story as well. So, I don't know, I just think that's awesome that NECA went ahead and made this. Because this is just a very, very cool looking figure. Now to go over the articulation really quickly, it's pretty much the same as the Alien Queen. So if you want to check out that review, the link is right up over there. You can see that the Red Alien Queen is standing at about 13 inches tall. And then measuring it from mouth to tail, you're looking at 26 inches long. Then here's the Red Queen Mother next to the Alien Queen, and you can see how similar they are, of course, standing the same height. And then here's the Red Queen Mother standing next to a regular Xenomorph Alien. I do want to get some of the red Xenomorphs now. And then here she is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ah, the rebellious type. Ah, I'm all about it. With the rebel yell, she cried more. <laughs> now I really like this figure a lot. I just absolutely love these red paint apps. It's just a very stunning look. I really like the articulation. It is just a bit easier to pose than the Alien Queen. I think it's a better figure than the Alien Queen. However, if I had to choose just between this Red Queen Mother and the Alien Queen, I would probably still go with the Alien Queen because I'm more familiar with the Aliens movie than the comics. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shart in your face. You have the age of 18. 
18 years or older, please check out the Patreon account. Your guys' help is very much appreciated. Also, if you're any age, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget to go to ToyNewsEye.com for the latest in action figure news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. Pretty much the same as the Alien Queen.